one thing I want to point out, I don't know when Toyota started it, but when they went to the reusable filter housings, you have to have one of these. Don't try using an ordinary filter wrench, it won't work. This has tabs that lock onto it, which you'll see when I'm working on it. It also comes with this 3 8 27 millimeter drive, which goes on here, the wrench. And you may notice something different here. This is a quick change oil cap made by Balbo Max. There are cheaper ones. This is 50 bucks. And it comes with this hose attachment. And fitting to make it clean. It's gonna go up there. Okay, let me get in position here. Okay, what I did off camera was I attached the hose. Let me take off the cap here. And then screw on the hose and the fitting. Put it into our jug drain jug and this is uh, one thing I'd like to point out is that I think on some of the cheaper ones people have had issues with it leaking but it's been 5,000 miles there's no oil leakage there and also on the cap itself not a drop of oil This is a Balbo Max brand. And they are specific to vehicles. Like Toyota's has the fittings here. One thing that really sold me on this was not only is it assembled in the USA, but it's better known. I'll just run through the instructions real quick. For faster drain times, run the engine until it reaches normal operating temperature, then shut off. Remove the oil fill cap under the hood and set aside. Step 2, drain. Remove the dust cap. Connect the drainer by threading it onto the valve. After full rotation, oil will start draining. Continue threading drainer all the way. Step 3, finish. Replace the dust cap by hand tightening. Store the drainer until next time. And service oil per manufacturer's recommendation. Run engine for one minute and check the leaks. And we're about drained here. So we're gonna, after this, we're gonna move on to the oil filter itself. Okay, we have our oil filter wrench cartridge on. One thing I'd like to point out is, last time I had it taken to Toyota and then I decided to do the oil changes myself, because, you know, the price has jumped to, what is it, $80 now. And this was on tight as hell. I actually had to use a breaker bar on here. It was nuts. And then I torqued it down to specs, which was, I believe, 27 pounds. See, it should just like that.
last time I used Bullet Royal Purple, full synthetic. And as you can see on my hand here, it's still clean, but oil is cheap. This time we're going with Castrol GTX, full synthetic, 0820. One thing I like to point out, if you don't have these, get some. Shop towels. These are at Costco. You get 10 rolls, I believe, for 20 bucks. And they go on sale sometimes for 16. Here's the filter we're using. I would suggest just using Toyota. Make sure you got that authenticity sticker on there. Little directions, kind of hard to screw up. Here's the old filter. There's nothing in it. Placing the new one in, doesn't matter which side. Just try and drain all the old way out you can. You can see there's a spring that holds it in place. As far as tightening this, um, it says 18 foot pounds, but then there'll be others just say hand tighten it, you'll be fine. And then others saying if this tab locks into place, then you're fine. Let's just go with 18 foot pounds on the torque wrench. Okay, we have the torque wrench on, set to 18 foot pounds. I would be really interested in knowing is if you've ever had a problem taking off a filter that's been serviced at the dealership, because I've heard others have, and it was just ridiculous. Like I said, I had to use a breaker bar to get this thing off, and both arms. I, I can only think that they tell them to do that. Why else would you do that? Okay, 18 foot pounds. There we go. It's 18 foot pounds and that is plenty tight. Okay, now that we have the filter cartridge installed, let's go ahead and take care of our oil line. Okay, we have that off, and as you can see how nice and tight the seal is. Let's set this to the side on a rag. And I was gonna say, let's clean this up, but there's nothing to clean up. So we don't need the towel. Another nice thing about this too is, not only is it clean, but you don't have to change a washer every time.
Okay, that's nice and snug. Okay, we're gonna button it up and then fill the oil. Okay, it's time to fill the oil. One thing I'd like to show you is one of the reasons and I also stopped going to Toyota. They just love to spill oil and not clean it up. All right, we're gonna set this to the side here. And I'd recommend getting a uh, clear filter so that way you know it's clean. There is better filter for this application, but that's what we have. Oil capacity on this 2015 Prius is 4.4 quarts with the oil filter change. I do have a specific funnel for this, but okay, with the video too, it'd be good. Okay, what are we at now? Still have 1.5 quarts left. We have about half a quart left in this jug. And I may have used a little bit of it before. Gonna go ahead and check the fluid level. Okay, I went ahead and checked. I don't know if you could see it on camera here, but it's dead on. So we're gonna put the Stick back in, take out our funnel, and one last tip, just to make sure you don't forget the oil cap, so I put it right here, so when you go to close the hood, it won't close. Okay, we're going to lower it, start it, run it for a few minutes, check the oil level again.